All right. Second time is a charm. We're going to try to do this. Let's rock it. Let's go. This is a Theologicus. This is not the live version. Uh, so a lot of times on Fridays, uh, I am busy away from the computer and I cannot necessarily record. That's not the reason today. Today's reason was that I had did a bunch of uh, additional add-ons. One of the things that if you are catching this in video, you're hearing our intro music. Well, if you're a, a, a podcast sub subscriber to Theologicus, uh, you already had that music. So that's nothing new to you. But now uh, we try to add it into the live stream. But well, here's the thing. Um, so earlier when I did the live stream, I did it around, I think, like one or two o'clock. And I had somebody on Twitch said, hey, your audio is popping in and out. And I am like, oh, well, maybe that's a Twitch thing. It wasn't just a Twitch thing. It was something to do with my uh, Focusrite Scarlet 212. Uh, the source is that. And the only thing you can do is just restart it. And OBS was acting kind of weird too, but OBS is kind of weird like that. Um, but we're going to do home devotions. We're going to do it really quick. I had some tech announcements, but I didn't get into that because I'm just doing a recording. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's just get into it. Father God, um, despite whatever technical difficulties, uh, you've always remained faithful and you've been faithful to me. Um, Lord, Give me your grace to do your will. Give me your spirit to minister to others. Would you open our eyes and open our ears to see and hear? Would you change our minds? And would you give us your heart so we can have new desires for you? God, we love you so much. In your son's name, amen. And so this is like, uh, I'm about maybe, let's say 30 episodes in. And this is probably like one of the first times that... Um, this might not go, this might not publish, but we're going to try it. We're going to record it. I'm going to test it. Let's just get to it. Okay. Let's see if it goes through. Uh, and they, and, and it, I would publish it if it was imperfect, but it actually, the audio drops out like every other word. It's like impossible to follow along. So we're just going to get to it. So we're on Fridays. It is the right before my Sabbath. It is, uh, and the day before the Lord's day. And so, uh, our home devotions just by, you know, design, I didn't do this on purpose, but it ends up being, um, well, I mean, where I placed it in the recording and on the live stream on Fridays, it just turned out to be a uh, grace, uh, because my home devotions were designed as family devotions. You lead your, your small kids, through it. Uh, they're um, meant to be short and sweet and to the point. Um, I changed, I turned it to home devotions because not everybody has kids. So uh, just kind of expanded it out to like, hey, maybe um, you would like to uh, lead your roommates through it or your parents through it or your brother or sisters through it. Or well, here you go. If you're a little bit older, go through it every day. If you're a little bit younger, um, maybe once a week. I, I wouldn't do it any less so than that, um, having a good rhythm is a good thing, especially when it comes to spiritual disciplines. Okay, so here we go. We're home devotions. Let's go to uh, Mark 16. Or excuse me. I always want to say the verse. Uh, Mark 1, verses 16 to 20. Jesus rules and reigns over all the people. Here's the text. <clears throat> and if it looks like I just got out of the shower, that's because, or excuse me, out of the shower or maybe out of the pool is because it is. We had our afternoon uh, went to the neighborhood pool, and um, now we're just chilling, waiting for dinner. Uh, but here we go. Uh, passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Peter, Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers, fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in the boat, mending their nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father, Zebedee, in the boat and with the hired servants and followed him. So here's today's devotion. One of the things I wanted to emphasize is, is God calling us, okay? So... You have younger children at home. If they grew up in church, they might they perhaps are familiar with the story of Samuel, where the Lord calls out to him, um, and in stories like that. 
What I mean by this is, and I want to use a seminary term, a theological term called a, a, the effective uh, calling of God. And all that means is that when God calls us to himself, he saves us to himself. That it's an effective call. It, it actually, the call goes out and it's going to do exactly what he intends it for to do. That's Isaiah 55, 11. My word ter- uh, goes out. It will not return void. Okay. Uh, so let's, the, and I can give you, uh, so in that thought, think about, think through the Bible. Uh, when God called Adam and Eve, when God called Abraham, when God called uh, even John the Baptist within his mother's womb, uh, think of all those times when God has called his people to himself. What, how did that go? How did that go for the person? They always followed Jesus. Let's re- let me give you the most dramatic example, okay? Acts 9, starting in verse 1. Now Saul was still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord. Now, if you are familiar with Acts, you know where the story is at. It's uh, This happens, the context of this is that Saul approved and oversaw or supervised the murder of of one of, or the first deacon of the church. His name is Stephen. Stephen was appointed to be a deacon, and he went on for a couple of chapters in Acts to preach the most gospel-centered, the most historical um, uh, repentance-calling sermons you've ever heard. And his own... And it says in 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 the word in uh, Acts chapter eight towards the end of eight, it says the word says that they could not stand up. The his opponents could not stand up to the preaching of the word. So their response was to kill him. And Saul here oversaw all of that. Okay, he oversaw. He approved it. He held their coats while they stoned him to death. Now Saul was still breathing threats of murder against the disciples of the Lord. He went to the high priest and requested letters from him to the synagogues in Damascus so that he, he, if he found any men or women who belonged to the way, the way is what we used to call Christians. Uh, we all belong to the way. He might bring them as prisoners to Jerusalem. As he traveled and was nearing Damascus, a light from heaven suddenly flashed around him. Falling to the ground, he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And look at, I want you to pay careful attention to Saul's response to the Lord. You ready? He says, who are you? Okay. At the beginning, and I I, I will contend this, this is complete conjecture, and I will I'm not, this is not a hill I'm going to die on, but I stand by my statement. At the beginning of that statement, Saul and all his power was like, who are you? But look at the pause, the comma, who are you? Lord, Paul said, or Saul said, he becomes Paul later on. Jesus responds with, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting, but get up. Go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Okay. When we are saved, when we accept Jesus into our hearts and trust in him and trust what he says, there are tons of things that God did before we can even know who God is. Okay. Here, here are these things. Ready? God knew you. God loved you. God created you. God pursued you. That means God chased after you and God called you. And just like the disciples here, Jesus Christ called them one by one, telling them all, telling them to all follow me. Likewise, when we hear heard about God for the first time, or when we heard about what Jesus did for those who trust and believe in Him, His Holy Spirit was calling out to each other, each of our hearts, saying, "Follow me." So here's today's question: very simple, very straight to the point. Uh, when do you remember? Okay. When do you remember the first time you felt God calling you? And if you never heard God call you, then you, you might want to ask God, God, am I saved to you? Do I belong to you? Am I yours? Okay. Now, now you're saying, Oh, well, I've never been audible, audibly called by God. Is that, is that a condition of salvation? No, 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 no. There's sometimes when we're audibly called, right? 
and I can give you my own story. Uh, my own story was, um, I thought I knew God and did not know God. And in a long story short, um, I was driving down the Dallas tollway uh, in and around in the afternoon, not during rush hour. And I was like, Lord, show me, tell me and show me how much you love everybody I'm seeing around me in, in the cars, on in the, in the streets. Show me how much you love people. And when I closed my eyes and opened them up, I saw everybody. And what I saw was how much God loved everybody else. But this also included my dad who abused me, my mom who abandoned me, my stepmom who abused and neglect me. Okay. Even my ex-wife, my God loved her. her. And it was upon that re realization, was upon that realization that just broke me in half. I came home and I was like, God, I am yours. Whatever, whatever it costs, either you take me home or you, you leave me here so I can minister to others. I am yours forever and ever. And that was it. That was the end of it. And that's how God called me. So like, it's like sharing your testimony, but there was a moment where God distinctly called you to be his. And once that's done, it's forever. Okay. Well, uh, that was short. It was sweet. It was to the point. Uh, be with us on Monday. We're going to be back in Romans. Uh, we're chapter two, starting at verse 16. Go ahead and read that and uh, get your questions ready. Uh, I'll be praying for you guys. I'll be lifting you up. Uh, if you um, subscribe, uh, follow. If you're on Twitch, follow. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, just like this post or be my friend or whatever you want to do. All right. I'll talk to you guys. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you Monday. Later.